So I'm going to take it there, I'm going to make sure it's in the safe direction. You'll see the recoil. Anyone who wants to own and possess a gun above board has to come here first. Okay, be before you even start looking at handling a gun, you need to look at safety first. Arno Barlow's colleagues say he's the best trainer in the country. He's agreed to take a novice through a standard competency test. Here we go. Side picture. Do this slowly. Okay. Handling in this case a Glock 9mm and only then learning how to pull the trigger. There we go. Every legal user has to go through stringent background checks. They'll be interviewed by the police and enthusiasts say that after all of that, they should have the right. If, if less people own guns, do you think there would be less crime? No. Even if we lived in a society where they so strictly controlled firearms that you could not possess a handgun, there would still be crime. This is just a tool, another tool for a, a lawful person who cares about themselves, who cares about their families to protect themselves. That is all it is. So this is a serious weapon. She's a seven millimeter hunting rifle. Okay. Maggie Pierce would agree with that. I'm just gonna open this bolt up and... An advanced user herself, she keeps three guns in the safe at home. I've loved guns since I was a child, since I can remember, so Knowing where it came from, I don't know. I, I, I was born with it, so. And is it just I love something, guns. something that's sort of come from the family? You know, just sort of a history of people who've enjoyed. I, you know, I the think sport so. Yes. Um, my dad had guns since I can remember. Most of my family has guns. This semi-automatic is licensed strictly for sport. You can license this for self-defence, but you are going to have a hard time getting that done. Okay. If you live out on a farm you might be able to get this license as a self-defense firearm, but not in a suburb. Okay. And when she's at home, she keeps her fourth on her. So the type of self-defense scenarios we would get here, you would need your firearm to be on you, preferably. So, yeah, so you would, you would take say. it around with you and you'd... For a self-defense scenario, I'd have to go somewhere very dangerous to take it with me for yeah. that, yeah. yeah and then you would need to justify it. If something should go wrong and the police ask you, but why did you use that file? You need to justify it. Yeah. So this would, fire, this would fire rounds as well then? To many, this might seem excessive, even a little paranoid. To Maggie, it's just another hobby and she's ready just in case. Guy Henderson, CCTV, Pretoria, South Africa.